Are you tired of spending hours manually generating ads reports for your boss or your clients? Do you wish you could just snap your fingers and have the numbers ready, or even better, not have to generate reports at all? Well, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that, make you look like a genius in front of your boss, in front of your clients, and they're going to be so amazed. So right now, subscribe, notifications on, hit the like button, because I'm as new as it gets on this platform, and I'm going to be dropping multiple marketing videos a week that have high value and that I literally use every single day. I'm not a guru. I'm not selling courses. I literally want to just make you better at digital marketing. So anyway, to make it even better, this automated KPI dashboard is all going to exist online in Google Sheets, and you're going to be able to do this all 100% for free. Businesses literally pay thousands of dollars for this kind of work, and you're going to understand how to do it in under an hour. So let's jump right in. First off, create a new Google Sheet. If you didn't know, you can literally open up a new tab and type in sheet.new in the address bar. It's pretty sweet. I actually do it all the time to flex and Zoom calls, but I just press, you know, new sheet. You can also do that. So in Google Sheets, open the add-ons drop-down menu, and you're gonna click get add-ons. I already have the add-on we're using for this, but you're gonna type in Adveronix. You're gonna click it and you're gonna um, install it, right? So there's gonna be an install right here. So you're then going to go back to the add-ons tab and you're gonna go to Add Veronix and you're gonna press launch. And then on the right, you're gonna see a ton of connections, which is gonna be overwhelming, but I'm here to help. So find Google Ads and then press that. And then you're gonna to have to sign in with your Google account that's connected to the Google Ads account that you want the data to come from. So you're gonna to wanna to do that. And then you have to press and allow permissions uh, for it to manage your Google AdWords accounts. This is totally fine. It's just how they get the data that you're gonna see in the KPI dashboard. And then so from here, you wanna make sure you select a customer. I'm just gonna select one of my test accounts. A ton of different directions that you can go in. However, one of my favorite ones, and the one that I use all the time with all of my clients that I work with at my advertising agency, is a top line KPI report that gives an immediate understanding of how things are performing. You might need slightly different things depending on what your needs are, but let's break this example down together. And after that, I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to go and customize this to fit all of your own needs. So this is a top level KPI report, which just really means the most important pay-per-click metrics that you should be tracking and reporting to people. So people could really just mean your boss, your client, whoever you're providing information to, and basically whoever is uh, signing your check, right? So this includes revenue metrics like cost of ad spend, revenue, return on ad spend, ROAS and average order value. It also includes cost efficiency metrics like CPC, CPM, and lastly, click-through rate and conversion rate. So I'm gonna leave this on account performance. And then for the date range, I'm gonna put this year. And then I'm going to delete all these columns and add a few of them back. So that list is gonna be day, cost, all conversion value, all conversion, cost of all conversion, which is just cost for conversion, all conversion rate, value divided by all conversions, which is your average order value, search impression share, impressions, clicks, average CPM, whoops, average CPM, average cost per click, and then CTR. And then I'm gonna sort for day, and then I'm gonna click this A to Z so that it goes backwards, Z to A, because it's gonna show us the most new data. And then for options, I'm gonna save this report as hourly, KPI report. This button so that it grabs the sheet that I'm in. And then I'm going to push get data. Don't worry, there's not going to be any data for me, but there's going to be a ton of data for you. And it's going to organize it with the headers at the first row. Oh, right. So there's not data for me. So I have to click get zero impressions or include zero impressions. Okay, great. So from here, all you have to do is go into reports and we're going to set up the scheduling. So this is the automated part of this whole process. So I'm going to click schedule, and then you want to press enable scheduling. And then I like to go and I press run reports every, and then I go to hour. And the reason I like hour so much is because it actually just blows people's minds that you can generate these reports on an hourly basis. Like it's totally crazy to them. So this is, I think, the part that really makes you look like a genius if you can have this completely set up, because this is going to update all of the time. Right. So I'm going to just do refresh all. It's not going to change anything because there's no data here, but your data will basically update every single hour. New data is going to be populated in. And every time there's a new day, it's all going to shift down one row. So if tomorrow it's going to say 519 here and then 518 is going to move down one and all of the data associated with 518 is going to move down one row. So from here, you have your automated 
KPI hourly report sorted by days, which is enough for like 99% of stakeholders. And people are going to think you're a genius. But for, you know, uh, say you work with investors or C-level executives, venture capitalists, or, you know, just people that are super into the data and the metrics, this is basically your source data that you can then start to manipulate and combine with your other advertising work. I want to keep this video pretty short. So so we're not going to jump into that super, you know, more advanced um, ways of manipulating this data and sheets and the, and the different cool things that you can do that are pretty easy. I'll be breaking down exactly how to do this for all of these different marketing channels. So Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat. And from there, I'll actually have a video that shows you how to easily combine all of these dashboards into an omni-channel marketing report. So stick around, look, subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment if you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you next time.